me now to invite our cabinet secretary to do the announcement. Thank you very much. I'm not doing any announcement, Joseph. <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much, uh, Joseph, uh, my colleague, and the chair and the board, uh, the senior management who are here. It's such a difficult time for me uh, to even talk when you have a whole team of very, very competent engineers, very intelligent engineers, all of them not with us now, they are in court. To me, it's like when Zambia lost the national football team, we've lost the best. That, I'll say it in any forum, anywhere. I don't want to dwell about the case. The case has its own merits. It's before court, and the court will make decision. And I believe justice will be served to everybody. We are here as civil servants. We work. We do our work as expected by, by the law. When such things happen, we have to be very strong. But I really want to say a whole senior management team is like Zambia losing a whole national team. To those of us who are here, let's take heart. Let's be strong. Let's do what is right, what we're expected to do. Let's not share away. Let's make decisions which are good for the company. Yeah, KPLC is the heart in terms of the energy sector. KPLC going down means the all energy sector going down. Therefore, uh, uh, Chair and your colleagues, the board members who are here, and indeed the senior management team who are here. We believe that you have what it takes to drive this company to the next level. And therefore, um, uh, we are here in solidarity with you. We want to encourage you to be strong and firm. We also want to encourage our shareholders. KPLC is a listed company. It's not only, I mean, it's not a local company. It's a listed company. Uh, therefore, we want to encourage all the shareholders that the company will come is strong enough, will sustain the challenges which are there, and move on. We are, we are not going to look back. So all the shareholders, our donors, our bankers, I mean, when there is something like that, I want to assure them that from where I sit and from the government perspective, we will offer all the support to this company, 100%. The board is there, and I want to assure you about the government commitment to make sure that KPS, KPLC is back to its normal position. Uh, the board and the chair, I know you are working on your restructuring program. We want that to be done as priority. Don't be taken aback because of what has happened. So we really want to assure everybody, all the shareholders, and all the staff of KPLC. I've just come, you have heard, I've just come from, I was in Kisi yesterday, and I was in, in Yamira. And the work KPLC is doing in our remote countries is wonderful. And people have been making reference to Ethiopia, and I want to say that I have been there. If you see the connectivity in Ethiopia, you cannot compare with Kenya. We are far much ahead in terms of the connectivity. And that, to me, I really want to thank KPLC. You've done a good job. Despite all the challenges, despite all the negativity, the good things you have done outweighs that. I want anybody who has traveled within Africa, everywhere to see the work which KPLC has done within the shortest time, five years, is a lot. The skills which you have, are so enormous. You remember we even had to take some engineers from KPLC to manage our line, the Longalani Suswa line. Engineer Benson Muridi was in charge, and the team who are there now in the field. That is the trust which we have from the ministry's perspective, and that trust will continue. We will never change, we will never shy away, we will offer the support which is expected from us. So 
having said that, and since we are law-abiding uh, Kenyans, we follow the law. Anything can happen to anybody. Sometimes you say, I wish I can be a sacrificial lamb for all of for losing about 19 people. I mean, it's not good. Sometimes you say you can be a sacrificial to the many to survive. And not sacrificial for any if they have committed any offense. I'm talking about the innocent ones. It's a really painful. I mean, I have been directed, I know all the engineers, I mean, all of them. I really don't want to talk. I mean, the, the case will continue to have its own merits. We wait and see to its own conclusion. And we expect just, justice. We support the fight about corruption 100%. We are not changing calls. That we support 100%. We are here as a ministry to offer the services to Kenya, and we will continue offering services to Kenya. My only take is, no, I'm still a, in, a politician in one way or another, I, having been there for a long time. I will call upon my colleagues also. Let's be humane in even arresting people. I mean, we are not, this is our country, we are not running away. If you want Charles Keter, you call me and say, here he is, I'll go and over myself. Take me to where you want to take me, so long as you don't kill me. But when you go to somebody's house at midnight on a Friday, I mean, I mean I'm just calling upon them that um, the fight against corruption, let's be humane, in even in the way we are implementing about that. When you make a rest at night, even a phone call, anybody who has disappeared, that can be followed. But somebody like me, if you want me, you can call me. If you miss me and my number, you can call my security. You can call my wife and say, you are required to record a statement concerning ABCD at this time. Or you are required to face the law. We will be available. And I will encourage Kenyans, all Kenyans, never run away. Give the story the way you, you know. Never shy away. Never be demoralized. This will continue. This is our country. We love this country. Having said that, uh, the board has met this morning. They have uh, looked around because we need to continue. And uh, they have proposed some names which they have consulted with us. And we are giving them a timeline. The team I'm going to announce is the team to spearhead it for the next three months. As they continue to now continue with their restructuring program. So get me right. And this is a team collective responsibility, a team done by the board. And I really want to thank the board for having sacrificed their time the whole day they have been here from 7 o'clock up to now. So my work is, uh, the law is very clear. It's the board who does, isn't it? Uh, I'm not the one. I'm just reading. I do, I do, I'm the one who, do, who does the CEO, isn't it? And these are all in acting capacity because we need to continue doing the work. We need to continue doing the last mile connectivity. We need to continue. Uh, implementing some of the projects. And you know some of the projects are funded by African Development Bank, World Bank. I mean, we need to continue implementing those projects. They are very crucial <coughs> projects for us. They are very crucial projects of the agenda, Big Four agenda in terms of manufacturing. There are decisions which we have made. And energy is key. So we need to, we need to, to continue. Our colleagues, who are facing the law, I think will stand suspended as the law, will follow the law. I think that board will follow the law. Uh, I've seen a lot of people saying they have been sacked. Uh, I don't know the law whether it's allowed sacking or not. I mean, there is suspicion when you are facing the law. They are innocent until proven guilty. Let's not charge people until, uh, until they are proven guilty in court of law. As far as, they are, as far as you are concerned, they are innocent until proven guilty. Let them follow, pursue their case. If they, those who will finish successfully, this is your company. 
We welcome them. We will never say that this was a, uh, you have been taken through that and therefore you are not part of us. Some of them even had retired. I mean, some of your colleagues had retired. They were, they were, some of them had even gotten good jobs. I mean, World Bank jobs, they were doing good jobs. So, I mean, let me not talk. So, what do you expect from me? Uh, only the, <laughs> the Kenyans with the names. Well, after consideration, I, uh, and I have said this is just an interim team. An interim can be changed even tomorrow. Are you getting me? It can be changed overnight. Uh, so this is an interim team for three months to be ahead of the projects which are ongoing as the board uh, continue with what they were doing. Therefore, I have a long list. Uh, the board, after considering and forwarding names to us, uh, uh, for the CEO, or the CEO should be the last. I think the CEO should be the last. The acting, all of them are acting. Eh? There is nobody. Uh, yeah, yeah. There are only people. There are people who are already on the substantive position, which, uh, but the others are acting. Uh, and I'll start with the. I'll start with uh, Peter Waweru in Jenga. Uh, we'll now move to uh, acting general manager, uh, where Benson Muradi was on the street lighting. Uh, we have Joseph, these are all engineers I'm mentioning, I didn't mention. Engineer Joseph Katuru will now move to uh, acting general manager, uh, connectivity. Uh, Joyce Awinja Ocheng will now act as a general manager supply chain, agri Jesamburi Machasio, acting manager, customer services and regional coordination. David Maniki, acting uh, general manager, infrastructure, network management. Dr. Jeremia Akiptanui Kiblangat, will continue being the director of Kenya uh, Power International on a substantive, that is where he was. Um, Charles Kimgeno Cheruyot, a general manager, internal audit, substantive, that is where he has been, and he will continue holding that position. Titus Makau Kitavi, uh, I'll move to acting general manager IC ICT. David Manan. Manandi or Manandi? Uh, is it Manandi? Is Manandi. there a? Uh, is there a really? Manandi. Manandi. No a. Is there a? Manandi. 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 Acting General Manager, Human Resource and Administration. Imelda Bore will act uh, Corporate of, uh, Acting General Manager, Corporate Affairs and Company Secretary. Engineer Takichu. George Kiru will move to acting general manager, business strategy. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry. Uh, Ambrose Lema, Lemaon, acting general manager, finance. Thank you. That is my list. CEO. Huh? CEO. CEO. The person. I thought. I thought I'm done with it. <laughs> The person who will now coordinate all of them within the three months is engineer Jared Omondi Oteno. That is the team. I don't know whether they are here. I don't know. Uh, Jared is here. Maybe Jared. That is Jared. Jared has been in this company for over, over 30 years, isn't it? Joseph, I think Jared has been here for over 31 years. All I think is. So he'll be the person uh, to head the team on interim position. Ah, they are here. Okay, I don't know them. You know, maybe you face me. I don't know you. 
I knew the other guys too. <laughs> so who is who now? No, they want to face me. I don't know them. I want to see them. I mean, okay, you'll take a picture all of them. So 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 Jared Jared Otieno is here. And then Charles Cheriot. Okay, internal audit. And then Joyce Ocheng, uh, that is uh, supply chain. Yeah, that one I know. At least that one has been my guy in the field. Uh, now they have removed you from the field. No, he is in charge of customer service. Customers are outside. Not yeah, in. that guy, I met him in Machakos, or uh, where was it? McQueen. McQueen, yeah. I know, at least the only one I know now. Who else? Uh, Dr. Jeremiah Kiblanga, that is the school. And then uh, Peter Jenga. Peter Jenga. Peter Jenga. That is a street light. street light thing. David Munandi. David Munandi. Munandi or Muna, Munandi? Munandi. 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 Okay. Imelda Bore. Imelda Bore. Okay. Finance. I don't know all of you guys. Maniki. Maniki. Infrastructure. You are in Nairobi, not? Was it Nairobi region? You were there together. Isn't it? Uh, at least that one and Titus Kitavi. ICT, are you the one I talked to at night? No. Someone else? <laughs> yeah, there's someone I talked to at night. Mine is to congratulate you and wish you all the best to steer, to steer the team for the next three months as we put things in place. We have confidence that you will uh, deliver. We don't want vacuum in the organization. We want continuity. And we wish you all the best and we'll support you. Take a picture with the press. Let me let me let me join you. Okay. You know these are now the next level after the month after the general manager. So we won't have no can you picture. No one knows when you're in the there are two ladies. There are two ladies. Uh, uh, Melda and Eva. Uh, Sorry, sir. Unless we need to outside, just we have to make any questions. No? No, no. Maybe there's a first thing we go. Okay. After we lose the question. Yeah, I'm not outside. I'm telling you. No, no. Then we'll just make the question. I do not take questions today. Yes, Jared. Karibu. Karibu, you just ask about the position of the case. I get seated. Yeah. <laughs>